Hey guys, welcome back to Group C. Up next, we're going to have uh, Zelay going up against Mr. Yagoot. Joined here by Jackie Chan. <laughs> American, welcome, American accent. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Thanks, man. You've been practicing? Not no. Hearthstone, you're American <laughs> accent. That's more important. Cool. Uh, we got uh, Yagoot with a Druid Shaman Warlock lineup and Zelay with a Druid Shaman Warlock lineup. With both players banning Warrior because that's Hearthstone. That's tough, though. Cool. So, a lot I'm of players go, like, say, like, they counter Shaman with Zoo. Yeah. But the overall stats pool from, uh, just actually just shows Aggro Shaman's actually favored in the matchup because yeah. of the inclusion of Lightning Storm. Yeah. So, I don't know how to feel about the matchup anymore. Yeah. I mean... Shaman's really good at fighting for board. Yeah, it's basically just... As soon as someone gets ahead, it's just impossible to come back, but then the Lightning Storm just completely changes yeah, it. Yeah, so it's just one player has a comeback mechanism, but the other one doesn't. So would you keep Rockbiter in the matchup as the Shaman? Sorry? Would you keep the Rockbiter as the Shaman? Um, yeah, I mean, it's good against like Flame Imp, like... Void most Walker. of Zoo's early minions, yep. pretty much. Especially when you got coin. Like, you, if you didn't have coin, probably not, right? So that's probably going to be Flame Imp from Yagoot, answered by uh, the Finley Coin Rockbiter. Seems good. Ooh, it's always like weird to play Finley when you have that guy. But Totem's just like too slow, anyways. That's interesting. Um, hmm. Usually in this matchup, you want something like Mage to, yeah, to contest it. Even Rogue's like pretty decent, so you just get like. The do double hero power off uh, two mana. Yeah, I mean you could. I mean life type helps you keep up with the zoo. Like yeah, sometimes you can get to the point where the zoo is just winning just because they can life type. They just more get stuff. more stuff. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Assuming you're not going to hero power for a while, you might actually take the life tap. Yeah, I think yeah. it's between life tap and druid. I wouldn't take under here. No. no. It's a close third. A <laughs> close. Third. The Flame Juggler is going to be a good follow-up for turn two, though, to count good against any of... Picks the Druid. Uh, the on board. Just picks the the, hero, the only hero power that has a immediate board effect. Yeah, yeah. I actually really like Rogue in the matchup as a as a Finley uh, take. Yeah, I mean, it's just like... As long as you don't have double Doom at Mirror. <laughs> and it's pretty good. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I mean, it's just like slightly better than the Mage and the Druid, but... So is it double one... Dr yeah, it's probably a double one drop over Direwolf. Yeah. Either way, you get... The flame tongue gets value if he has it. But yeah, especially because you got the two direwolves in hand. You want to get the value next turn. Yeah, at least you get one guy on the board. Uh, both players' hands have been so mediocre so far. <laughs> 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 no totem golems. Yeah. After one drops for zoo, it's pretty good though. I mean, at this point, you're kind of thinking with the tunnel draw, you're thinking, oh, maybe the druid, uh, druid choice was good because you can. Do you bump? I think you do, right? Mm. You get punished by uh, abusive if you don't. Yeah, exactly, because the he's gonna be able to abusive going your two three. Yeah, yeah. Well, then you can make that attack next turn, but then the Finley can attack something else. So inter interesting tech card here is the flame juggler. You don't see that too often yeah, in Zoo. Yeah, it's like really good if you're uh, you're expecting like mirror matchups yeah, or yeah. Um, yeah. Basically, just for the early all, all, all the much. all the board control matchups. Yeah, like and there's. Like, uh, okay. the good tech card was like, I don't think that's the turn to do it, though. Mm. I mean, the Flame Juggler's just slightly better than the other Zoo 2 drops, like, on turn 2, like, the Peddler and the, the Die Wolf. Like, if you've got yeah, nothing, the, on, the, nothing on board. Like, the 3 health minion is actually uh, yeah. really good at going against 2 attack minions. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, I, again, oh, doesn't bump uh, yeah, the Wolf. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. I, I guess it does already die to Storm, and his hand kind of means he needs... He's probably going to Storm next turn, right? True, true. Actually, is Zelay just playing mid-rage with Finlay? Why is there a Hex in the deck? Yeah, no, it is interesting. The Storm and the Hex. Usually don't but see Finley both of well, those. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. I mean, you probably just go for the, the Storm, right? The Storm's really good. Yeah. but And the Storm allows... Even if you don't high roll the, the Flame Juggler, right? You you can finish it off with... Uh, the Finley, and it'll, the Finley will stay alive exactly, no matter what. Exactly, yeah. And you still have the three mana next turn for the Tusker. Follow up. And you get only has one card. It's pretty unlikely <laughs> to actually be the Ritual. 
And more flame oh, jugglers. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a pretty good flame juggler. Oh, that's turn. a good turn. Yeah, this turned out to be actually a really good turn for you. Yeah. Above average <laughs> for having one card in yeah, hand at start really of it. the start of the turn, it's like, oh, no. <laughs> pretty solid. Okay. Oh, boy. Wow. Zelaya's going to have to, like, get a few of these totem cards. Yeah. The more, more Tuscars, Tuscars, more totem golems. Yeah. And high roll. Never high roll. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Now he's changed his hero power. This. Oh, yeah, this thing for Blue becomes significantly worse. Ooh, the Gormok tech for you, Goot. Uh, I wonder if he's going to play the abusive or not. It's like... Because now, now he can actually top deck 3 drop and still get off the Gormok, but you lose your abuse surge on value, so it's yeah. like... And also your... Zelay has, like, the hero power ping, so, like... I yeah, know, that's it, true. It's looking like a... Probably Hex hero power turn. <laughs> hmm... I mean, it Councilman is one of the best targets for Hex and Zoo, but... Oh, for sure. Uh, except Sea Giant, but... Yeah. You've already seen two Flame Jugglers. Like, what What aren't you... You're not cutting Imp Gang Boss, right? Yeah. You, you have to be cutting something. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And you, yeah. Sea Giant's sea usually... Giant's sea Giant's like a test choice, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. That is... That's a pretty solid draw. I think if the Gromox, like... Not active. It's still a four four. Yeah, just, I mean, like, yeah, pretty hard. Doesn't die to lightning storm. Like, doesn't die to storm. Kill term yeah, it's, it still has to get <laughs> lava burst. Yeah. So does the councilman. So playing two lava burst targets seems pretty good. Yeah. On the empty hand tapping's kind of like good too, but then you only actually have three power in play. Like the councilman represents a bit more than that, but like you're not pressuring the shaman. Oh wow. Okay. That's I mean, not, it's not a. That, yeah, it's that's not a great hit. But. The ferals kind of sets up for a storm, right? Doesn't use your mana well, but it does. But what do you think about just thing from below here? I guess the councilman, if you just if you go just draws two minions, is act only goes up to four. So, like the f uh, yeah, no, it's, it's true. The feral spirits die so easily, but then it does help with the lightning storm. But then if you're gonna do that, like lightning storm's gonna be the whole of your next turn. <laughs> I guess you have the hero. I, I, you I, have the hero I, power as well to finish off the councilman if it doesn't. Yeah. yeah. Usually, uh, I really like using ferals just to set up storm. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this just uses the mana a bit cleaner, I guess. And you're not overloaded. Okay. Defender abusive. That's pretty good. You're going to be able to uh, keep your high health minions at high health. Yeah. And with the Argus on the 5 6, that means the, the abuse sergeant's actually. Uh, hidden from the, the Druid Hero Bar. Okay. Flame Wreath. Well. Do you overload four here? I th that, that leaves you a five mana next turn for just Storm Hero Bar? I mean, if it clears the board, I think it's going to be well worth it, but... I think you'd rather play the 7-7 seven, seven than Pink from Blow here, as long as you're not dead on board, which you're not. I guess this is fine too. Now, now he has the, like the mana for Lightning Storm and the seven seven next turn. Yeah. He just has like a bit of a weaker turn this turn though. Second defender is pretty naughty. Yeah. Very nice. Where does Yargus go? Hmm. I mean, d probably on the abuse of surgeon, right? Like the the way the the minion should be placed is the abuse of surgeon should be next to the Argus. Yeah, because like, ideally yeah, yeah. you'd want them to both to be buffed now, and then you can just, yeah. Hmm. So the councilman goes into the... F I guess you can keep the councilman full health, right? So you use the five... Uh, you still put two damage onto the councilman, but that lightning storm only does three, so yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, I think you're ha happy trading the councilman into a two, three. I mean, you could... It's kind of awkward. You could Argus between the Gormok and the this is just Abusive. Te this just feels like Tetris. <laughs> this is why I don't like Zoo. <laughs> yes. It's too hard. <laughs> so many decisions just with one or two cards in hand. That is, that's pretty balanced. Very yeah. rough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. Oh, that's a good draw, actually. Uh, this this turns just me a clown fiesta, aren't Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> so. So, best case for Zelay is you roll 
three on both Arguses. Yeah, you need to roll three on the Arguses and the 7-4. The Squire mm -hmm. roll doesn't matter, obviously. And then you need to hit the 50-50 behind right? that on the 7-4. Easy game. And... Oh, that, that, <laughs> all right, the 7-2 doesn't... Didn't go so well. So you have to Flame Juggler here and hit one of the minions, or else you're just dead to double minion. Yeah. And if they hit minion spell, the spell kills you because it's power woman. Yes. So you have to flame juggler. You can't play the seven seven. I mean, I guess you want it to hit this. Yeah. Or the seven two. Yeah, yeah, you can't. You, you, you want it to the seven two, sure. Yeah, actually, hitting the seven two reduces the most amount of damage, right? Yeah. And Zelay well. did very poorly <laughs> yeah. in this clown fiesta turn. <laughs> yeah, that was. So, Yagut needs three. And uh, draws Leroy, then taps. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All the damage. So, yeah, it wouldn't have really mattered anyway. Yeah. Well. Oh, okay. Yeah, even, even with, like, the triple high roll with the Flame Juggler yeah. hitting the, winning the 33% after <laughs> that. <laughs> no, uh, no, well, not quite enough. That's the first game. Yagut goes yep. uh, one up with Zoo. So, Zoo sticks in that. So, uh, it's lays left with Druid, Druid and, and Zoo sure. to beat Druid Zoo. Druid. Zoo. Yeah. Yeah. So, he's probably going to play Zoo to yeah, beat I mean, Zoo. That's usually how th th this kind of works out. The true is actually not so bad against um, Zoo anymore. Yeah, like I mean, with the, the less of the like sticky. Your your curve is like a lot lower, and if you just yeah. and you have more ramp with the Mire Keeper, so you can yeah. Yeah. you can get to a point where you can actually just clear and develop at the same time. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing with the Druid, it's it obviously swipes insane, but it's way more about the ramp, like if you get yeah, the early you ramp. Yeah, you, like you, you need to like ramp, clear, clear, <laughs> yeah. then yeah. minion, clear. Yeah, pretty much. Because if, if you just play your minion and just get some use of Surge or Power Whelming, then yeah. you're like playing right into the zoo game. Obviously, they're better yeah, at yeah. you at fighting mana for mana. Wrathguard from Zelay here. That's an it's interesting deck choice. Very um, aggressive zoo list, it looks like. Yeah, the abuse of Sergeant kind of feels bad, but at the same time, you kind of have to do it anyways. You just saw, like, two Flame Jugglers, then you know there's also, like, Squire, yeah. Voidwalker, Village... Pos possessed Villager? Oh. <laughs> and... RNG Flip goes to Zelay. Yeah. Karma from last game. <laughs> it's not actually that impactful. Uh, like... Like, if Zelay had Dire Wolf, like, that's so important, but yeah, it just yeah. has Raft Guard, you know. Which is actually pretty insane here. Mm. Have you played with Raft Guard? Not Did, recently. How, not how, recently. How, I'm wondering how Raft Guard Zoo does against, like, not Raft Guard Zoo. Because, like, all the Zoo minions are, like, 2 twos, right? Yeah. So the Raft Guard should be pretty good. It should if, be, yeah. I it mean, forces the buff card. If you do, if like they don't play, have the buff card, then you go spot. Peddler, you play Wrathguard. Like, it's yeah, yeah, you just kill their guy. Head, like, yeah. As long as they don't hit the Elven Archer or the Boar. <laughs> but then it's still like three mana for two mana. So you, you pull ahead. Horse Rider is pretty nice uh, to okay. protect this yeah, Wrathguard. Sure. Sure. And what's really cool about this is you're going to be able to Soul Fire their three drop if they have it sure. and uh, keep your Wrathguard on the board. Yeah. No three drop one inside though. Minions pesky. They, the old like soul fire doom guard hand. It's like it's really tricky. Like yeah. you, you definitely want to get. Play to, <laughs> you, you definitely. They're both really, really good cards. And, like what? What do you do? I mean, usually you fill your hand up a bit more first, and yeah. then you can afford to use maybe the soul fire, and it's unlikely that the doom guard's going to be discarded. Yeah, well, the turn here right, it's easy, right? M gang boss, you soul fire, you don't fetch doom. Yeah. Would you? Yeah, no, yeah, I guess. Yeah, you don't pitch Doomguard. Yeah, yeah. If you pitch Doomguard, it's like really bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but so, it's you, really, so it's you don't play the Imgag boss, you use Soulfire first. But you want to play the, the, the Imgag boss too, because like, the Dire Wolf yeah, is like it's, crap it's for really four hard. this like, Ideally, you'd be like, would you go Imgag boss Soulfire and take the 50 50? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. This, this but is then if, would you rather get a 2 and 3, and then if the Imgag boss goes, you still have the Dire Wolf? I mean. <laughs> You're behind in the series. You gotta take risks. Yeah, okay. You, you, okay. you decided to build your deck like this, so you kind of have to, like, yeah, I'm gonna run into this problem. So, yeah. you know, okay. uh, just embrace it. Okay, he's going for it, I think. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and this is huge. This is actually a huge deal. Oh, and he loses. <laughs> no emotional re reaction. Well, if you get 
best turn is Defender Vargas here. Uh, I don't think it really matters. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I imagine if he uh, had the Doom God follow up. Wow. I mean, is playing a vanilla 2 3 better than playing a Beast Sergeant and a Wolf? <laughs> this hand is kind of. Yeah, no. Oh god, tapped up. I guess the Flame Imp's a bit better. Yeah, you get. You throw out the abusive too. That was actually a pretty risky tap, because if he'd actually wasn't able to play two minions. Oh wow, there's two soul fires in this deck. Yeah, but oh, I mean, of course, of course. Why wouldn't there be two soul fires? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And, and that's got a spot, like, Soulfire is just insane. Yeah, you think I like it. So. This is a, a super aggressive. It helps it's you stay ahead of board. Soulfire. I wonder what he has caught for. I mean, uh, it uh, looks like no CJ. I right? believe the list, yeah, yeah this list, uh, this list, I believe, has um, no CJ for sure. But I believe it also has no power woman. Really? Yeah. Really? That's that, very it, strange. If it's, like, Zigzo's list from... Um, Star Ladder. Yeah. Then there was no Power Whelming in the deck. Wow. You don't Power well, when your Charger happens to be like Horse Rider and Argent Commander. Yeah. You don't want a Power Whelming that because yeah, your guy true. your guy takes a trade and then you want yeah, it to you die. Want it to live. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly yeah. Or so you want to, you'd rather like charge his guy and then finish it off with the Soul Fire and still have your guy remaining. It still seems so, so crazy though. Yeah. Power Whelming is just really good. One of the best roller cards. But you really? can't really run like two Power Whelmings, two Soul Fires. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. That, that <laughs> <laughs> too, too many times you'd you'll have clunky hands that you really can't afford it. Uh, so. I mean, you might actually just become an OTK deck at that yeah. point. Just throw an Emperor and just kill Priest from 30. <laughs> <laughs> Good Maligos. <laughs> <laughs> Maligos to you. Okay, so we have Druid against Zelay's Zoo. Yep. Um, Would you even call it Zoo? Would you just call it Agro Warlock? It's it's. The, I think the name it got was uh, Charge Zoo. But Charge Zoo, okay. Lance Carrier. Wow. Can they still afford all the one drops like the Yeah, the one uh, I the think there I exists. think there's also no ritual in the deck. No ritual, yeah, okay. It's, that's like too you like that's like really bad synergy with Soulfire because yeah. you can't like use all your mana then Soulfire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I mean, you'd probably go for the Void Walker here, right, to play around Living Roots. I like the Squire a bit more. Um why? Like, w because with the Lance here follow up, you'd rather have like a 3 1 Divine Shield. That's true. Build your own Scarlet Crusader. That's true. I mean, I, I guess I'm thinking and too like, hard about it. And, and this is like never getting coined Hero Bird. Against Living Roots, for sure, it's uh, yeah. a touch better. Well, I guess now you'd probably just. Now you just Wrath Guard, right? But, but then I guess I, it is that's weak to Wrath. Like, that's you weaker to. The... Yeah, I yeah. think you actually should you Lance here yeah, play around yeah. Wrath on too. This is, however, worse against Walker. <laughs> so there's like. Yeah, it's just like a, what does my opponent ha and have is actually like what the de what determines what your best play is. Yeah, yeah. And Yagut had Raph and Wildgrove, so no matter what, like there's a decent play for uh for Yagut. And Raph guard Voidwalker and Targent Horse Rider Soulfire seems good. Seems good. Seems very good. Do they play? Did, did, do you reckon he plays two Doom Gods? Yeah, there there's, I've, yeah. There's yeah. definitely two Doom sure. Gods, right? This is an arena deck. What are you <laughs> talking about? <laughs> I'm not sure, man. I've seen <laughs> some crazy stuff. But yeah, this is actually just insane for uh, for Zelay. Yeah. Because in any case where you could actually try to develop here, it just gets horse rider and soul fired. Yeah. Double wrath though. He is really looking for something like an innovate at this stage. Uh, I mean, wrathing the bubble might be the play, but you're taking a lot already so should you just be removing the pressure from the that the void walker is i mean i think you don't need more cards because after this turn right you go coin emperor into war into scenarios into yog like your yeah. curve is already in your hand you have yeah like the curves are right there so killing the bubble just seems greedy unless it's... you hit exactly swipe from it and you have yeah. a good swipe board next turn and if you swipe that means you don't coin emperor right which is like just insane true but then the oh, the squire is so much more pressure than the void walker. Like the void walker isn't really doing anything. Right, but you don't get to kill the squire. Yeah. At least one way you get to kill something. Always. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you had swipe. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, rewarded. You, so get, you do have to play to your ads for sure. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but no, I see what you're saying. If you hadn't got the swipe, it probably would have got. Oh wow, another one uh, drop. Wow. My my argument, my main argument is like, even if you do swipe, that just means you're not going to emperor, which yeah. you want to be doing anyways. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Swipe, 
you swipe, then he's just gonna flood again, and you're gonna be like, oh, I still have to play Emperor yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't have like the, the vantage point of having like the discount in your hand. And now, if he th does choose the Coin Emperor, uh, he's actually taking two extra damage from not wrathing the Voidwalker yeah. two turns ago. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So. Uh, so four, five, six, eight, twelve. Yeah, so so I don't know. So far, your number two does not work. Wow. I mean, that's that's the best draw he could have got. Yeah. The only question is I if you're well. Them. The only question is if he's trading, right? You could <laughs> you could also like tap soul fire him in the dome and hope you don't pitch doom guard so you have lethal next turn. Potentially, I mean, with you, the board clear, but like the board clear seems a little complicated here. Yeah, I mean, if you were going to trade, you'd obviously trade off like the Squire and keep the Doom God on 7 health. And yeah, you'd probably be trading the Squire off and the Horse Rider, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Although that walks into Mulch. It does. One, two, three. Yeah, uh, it's more likely there's a swipe than a Mulch, right? Because you play one of one card and two of the other. Tapping and Soul Firing Face is pretty ambitious, but. <laughs> it's like not the worst yeah, play. It's, it's not the okay, worst so play. Okay, he's going for the trade. Is he going for the the two one drops or is he going for the the divine shield? Okay, he goes for the uh, one drops. Interesting. And Doom got to the face. I also, I really didn't mind ignoring the emperor. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because you only have nine your on plan board is to here. Kill him in the next couple of turns anyway. Like, he's not going to get much more value up. Well, ancient of war and prey. And pray. I mean, if he's not running powerful, I mean, then... Yeah, it's pretty hard to get through. Makes the war, yeah, slightly safer. M-Gun boss does not help. 7, 8, 9. Bran oh, does not okay. help. And you give might stabilize on the back of this 5, then. I mean, would you just... If you just pass, would you trade a couple of the 1 health minions in and then pass? You, if you're trading, it'd be like... The probably, one one. probably the Doomguard and the 1-1. One one. Yeah. Definitely the one one for yeah, sure. Yeah. The so divine shield. We just. Mm. Uh, okay. I mean, Missy. No, you, you don't. You back into this. No? Yeah, you don't need to trade the divine shield because if if you see a swipe, it's going on to doom guard, right? Yeah, I mean this. The swipe. war goes into the void walker. Then you're left with the. Then your hero power is the 2-1, but then you have the M-Gang boss plus the 1-1 one, yeah. one token. Innovate is a very good draw. Uh, what do you do with it? I mean, right now, you innovate could... Yogg, of course. <laughs> yeah. YOLO. It, how many spells has he even played? He played two Wraths and a Wild Grove. <laughs> yeah, not that much, no. That's only for four. No, I think you should be, be either swiping or playing Sonaris here, right? Yogg for four is, like, not enough, right? Yeah, I mean, Sonaris is... It's not actually it's pretty bad here. Like the two 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 taunts get dealt with really easily. Yeah, and then well that does oh, he's going for it. It does mean like the Doom Guard trades though, right? Mm, I guess. The Doom Guard has to go into the five three for the other two trades to happen. So that's not that's not the end of the world for uh for your goop. It's also like the swipe wasn't very good, and like this is probably his most defensive play. Yeah, yeah, true. Brad and Petler's a nice uh, combination here. I mean, it could definitely be set up for a best one next turn. So you just keep a swipe here or something like that. If you just hit two soul fires off Brand Petler, you have lethal next turn. Somewhat guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> would you go for it? Or would you go for the juggles? You get, the juggle you get two juggles, from the, from the two juggles yeah. but then you lose the brand value forever. Because the brand's not sticking. Mm. You, you, you kind of you know that. And like... Next turn, you're very likely to get two juggles, anyways, right? Yeah, yeah. Wall yeah. coil. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. Oh, you guys avoid okay. Power bombing okay. or abuse surgeon? Hmm. Similar cards. Power does more damage. Yeah. I mean, if you've still got. If you. If you're guaranteed to have something on the board next turn, I think you go for PO. You're not at all guaranteed to have anything on I the board. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> this swipe is yeah, this swipe pretty is good. Really, very good, actually. Like huge. Like you just oh. so the you trade the scenarios into the gang boss. You swipe the brown hero power the two two and play my keeper, right? Yeah, and then you're at what nine? So seven health. Yeah, you're pretty. Doom guard is an out for uh, for Zelai, so. and If he has yeah. Argent commander in his deck, that would be guaranteed lethal. Sure. 
Are there any other charge minions other than the Horse Rider and the Doom Guard? How many charge minions do you want in your deck? All of them. Yeah. <laughs> Leroy? I, I, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say there's probably no Wolf Rider at least. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> A while ago, Arcane Golem would probably would have made the cut. Yeah, true. You have to. Yeah, have to tap, tap right. right yeah. Oof. That is not what you're looking for. I mean, I think you still have to play it. Yeah, I mean, you just like, juggle a rat. Uh, uh, like, Walker, right? at least like there's no like dread minions that do a lot of damage to the rap guard. He can overkill it by a bit, but not hugely, right? Do you play the abusive? Oh, oh my goodness! Nice. That's some talent. That I is think some talent. Because you've just seen a swipe. Well, you're not beating swipe number two no matter what, right? And because yeah, because you've, I get you have swipe, PO, you have no you have board the PO in your hand as well, so you really need something to stick. Like right now, well, it just gets hero powered, right? But then it does two anyways. But then I guess if you think you're only out, well, if you, well, if you have horse rider, right? He's at seven, and then the horse rider PO gives you six. The abusive yeah. gives you eight. Yeah, that's true. So I think you played also, the horse you rider. Also, you have your doom guard, and if you draw your doom guard, you want to have the abusive still in hand to potentially just. To this, so you discard the abusive and you yeah, keep the you, PO. Yeah, keep the PO. Ah, that's <laughs> <laughs> so you goot does not believe in Yogg here. Uh, yeah. That was bad, man. You can't believe in Yogg. Oh, he kind of misses on this. Um, like, he really misses on this nerf. Yeah, he, gets, he had already he used both Ravs. <laughs> he, was, he had already used both Ravs, right? So yeah, this could be. This, this, this is just going to be it. Right? Uh, he, he, he has no way of removing the nerf juggler, and he has the PO and abusive in hand. The little 2-2 two -two that could. Wow. I didn't need to nerf that card some more. Bring him back down to like 1 power. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Sometimes lucky. <coughs> I mean, in, the, in this situation, like playing the abusive, not playing the abusive yeah. ends up being the same thing. Yeah. So, so the aggro charge zoo takes it, another win. Yeah. And uh, Yagut's left with his uh, Shaman. Ah, uh, I really wanted to see Yogg there, man. <laughs> I, was, I was praying for him to play Yogg. Yeah, as, as, like, like, what, was he, what was he looking for from the Norwich? He had already played two rats, he had already played swipes. You had one swipe, two living roots, yeah. and the Raven Idols. The Raven Idols. That yeah, would have yeah. immediate effect I mean, on the board. Roots obviously would have been great. Just, oh, you needed yeah, to the do living roots, something to kill the two. The Living Roots killed the two, two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Raven Idols probably got a pretty high percentage of killing the juggler, right? Yeah, yeah. And so even if it doesn't, you could get something like Feral Rage or something that could. Well, that, heal that, that also does kill the juggler. Yeah. And, or heal. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And he, healing, yeah, yeah. Touch, healing touch would be what <laughs> you're looking yeah. for, right? And yeah. that, that, that wins you the game. Yeah. So there's like, off of three cards, you, you got pretty good odds, but he had like Drake, Nourish, Wildgriff yeah, on nine cool. mana. Uh, yeah, rough game. Yeah. I don't think, like, it's like not a very good Yogg there, right? Because you're like no, even on board. Because you, like, you're, you're ahead on the board. You don't usually want to play Yogg when you're ahead on the board. But yeah. at the same time, you are in a pretty. Nah, to be, I mean, to be fair, you would always go for the Nourish there, right? Okay. Not, so. not being result oriented, which I am. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we have the Shaman against... And, uh, Agra, who could just... I, s I, li I like what Yagood's doing here. <laughs> Tunnel yeah. Trog Totem Golem. Yeah, I don't think he's got any complaints about this dying hand. So, the objective of Zoo in this matchup is to be able to deal with Tunnel Trog Totem Golem. Yeah, I mean, that being said, Soulfire is actually a pretty good card. Yeah, so you would keep the Soulfire, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, the 2-2s two don't do much. The Voidwalker's fine, and... Oh, oh pitches Silver. I really like okay. Silver. Oh, I got oh. it back. <laughs> it works. So this is actually really good. Yeah. So you have... Um, oh, but there's a Flame Tongue now for you, yeah, which is actually like, is perfect. Huge. Which is actually just, like, way better than actually playing um, the Totem Golem. Yeah. So all the zoo cards just buff oh, each this other. This gets really punished by Flame Tongue. Yeah. But yeah. then that being said, now Zelay actually picks up the Horse Rider. So after the Flame Tongue play, that gets Horse Rider, and it's That's like, true. he's still on it. That does not seem like the play. Uh, well, you could have Coin Soulfire. Wrath Guard, Coin Soulfire. Mm. That's an interesting line, right? It, it does, like, you would kind of the same thing. Except you have a 4 free instead of a 2 1. Yeah. And then you pitch a card, but. You pitch a card to have like a plus two plus two minion. Well, I, I see like three choices for you here. Not necessarily an easy, the easiest of turns here. Yeah, I mean, if he fails for it, then he's he, kind of committing to Totem Golem the turn after, right? Because he's got two mana. That's, you make it sound like it's bad. 
It's not bad. <laughs> no, it's obviously really good. But I mean, if you are Totem Golem and Rock Fighter. Like, what's really good about, like, the Horse Rider and the Totem Golem play is that, like, you kill his guy and all the zoo minions are just, like, buff guards, Yeah, right? exactly. So there's no abusive, no nothing that can... Okay, I mean, but, would you just go for the uh, the Wrath God Soulfire here? Or would you go Wrath, Wrath God uh, Is abusive? it, like, abusive Sergeant Soulfire? Hmm. I like killing both of them. Yeah. It's off curve, but... It doesn't matter. Okay, if the Soulfire pitch is Doomguard and you still have double two next turn. Yeah. If you don't pitch Doomguard, you're happy because you still have Doomguard. True. Logic. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you, if you like abusive, if you, okay, so say you. I mean, yeah. You no, definitely, you definitely. Abusive Wrath God's just actually really bad. Yeah, you need to remove both of them just because of the Flame Tongue. That Flame Tongue is super annoying for Zilla here. If it's Peddler. Wow. That's an interesting one. Uh, probably the Voidwalker over the Possessed Villager, right? Probably. I mean, personally, I think the Possessed Villager, because the Voidwalker gets dealt with so easily by the 4-3 Feral Spirit. That's gonna oh, be on the board. Yeah, but we're not playing it this turn. We're playing Deviate Surgeon, right? Yeah, that's true. I kind of... I like the... I'd take the Voidwalker in the logic that... Soleil actually plays Voidwalker in his deck. He doesn't play Possessed Villager. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. So it's just like... You, you usually take the card that's in your deck because yeah, you think yeah. it's better I mean, than the other one. It's definitely just like slightly worse because you're not playing. It's definitely yeah. better when you're running Power Whelming. Yeah, exactly. Uh, exactly. That's yeah. like... All right, so it's... It, so it, this is going to be another 50-50 Soulfire turn, right? Yeah, I mean, you go for the Wrath God, Voidwalker, Soulfire. Is it... Uh, what if you just go Juggler? Juggler... Juggler, Voidwalker, Snipe? <laughs> the four one. <laughs> it's soul fired the other wow, guy. Wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Big plus, man. Big plus. Uh, were lucky. Nah, just, see, that's just unfortunate. Okay. Yeah, you gotta believe in the heart of the cards. Oh, he discards the doom god again. He's Is very good at discarding these doom gods. <laughs> Soleil is having a bad day. Yeah. The bolts. Well, saying okay that, he's two one up. Well, he's still lost like every single flip. <laughs> yeah, <it's> true. <laughs> <laughs> And this, this, uh, what do you call it? Flame Tongue has been just like. Yeah, the, the Flame Tongue's just been huge the whole game. It, it's just been there for. Especially since turn combined two. with the Feral Spirit. Yeah, the Horse Rider. And the, I guess the, and it, the didn't really, it, it didn't matter this much here, but. Uh, yeah. but yeah, it's still there, and you know it's going to, like, generate value off of yeah. totems. Wow. Oh. I mean, yeah. Soleil's now having a good day again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. Even so, like, yeah, you definitely killed the, that guy. The seven seven, what a draw! Both of these uh, contested. Both, both, so well. yeah, both these guys are like drawing their heavy hitters. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess so you yeah. peddler first because you can get soul fire off peddler, but soul fire is not you... necessarily good off peddler though. Oh, you can. I, I, there's one of the cards I know you like, the Dragon Egg. Love Dragon Egg. <laughs> <laughs> Only a Druid, though. It's not, not in Warlock. <laughs> you have the Mark of the Wild or Power of the Wild. Or oh, yeah, it's like Daryl Valva. Uh, <laughs> you need to pull his health. health. It sucks. Dude, Daryl Valva, the way of the future yeah. for. Uh, if he doesn't pick the Dragon Druid. Egg, I'll be disappointed, actually. <laughs> yeah, the other two are like. Possessed Velger might be better. Yeah. I mean, the course, uh, like, even against even against Doomhammer, it just... It's Take it one down to <laughs> seven charges. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, sometimes, really they, sometimes you just need that eighth charge for lethal, you know? <laughs> I've lost to that before, where someone actually just held it for against me, playing Aggro Shaman. Yeah. And then I was like, all right, we're setting up lethal, just have to wait for the Rock Fighter. <laughs> and then I'm, I get him to ten, I have two charges left, pirate go. I'm like, well played. <laughs> 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 you win this time. <laughs> And 7-7 seven, seven doing what 7-7 seven, seven does. Goes to the oh. face. Now that you rolled healing totem, though. It's, oh, uh, yeah. No, yeah. Healing totem actually changes things. That's, uh, you're more a bit more inclined, I guess, to take a trade because you got the healing totem. Yeah. And it does, your guy doesn't die to, Just like, to the... the yeah. The peddler. Double buff cart. Yeah. Argus that's uh, that's Argus, pretty... Argus is good. How do, wh what's the positioning, though? That's weird. It's kind of awkward, isn't it? All right, you put, no, you put the Argus, and yeah, you you put put the the Argus wolf. in the middle, trade into the... I was going to put the wolf in the middle. 
And then Argus the... Yeah. No. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, you I get like to this. pick I up like a value trade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, this game has been so back and forth. It's really close. I mean, it's good, good for Zelay though. The the flame tongue's off the board, and yeah. uh, Yagut only has like two mana in his in his hand. So like, the the life taps like really good in this, yeah, in this exactly. game. Yeah, I mean that's how how you feel the game's gonna go. Like at this stage, like the life tap is just could potentially just carry the game. Although, like, Yugu's still maintaining the slight board advantage, which she has been, like, the whole time. Yeah, yeah. But in Zelay's deck, there's no more Doom Guards. There's, like, he can't, there's no Forbidden yeah, Ritual, right? Half time and he like, must be like, threats left. Yeah. Like, this is, like, one of the games where Forbidden Ritual is, like, at its finest. Yeah. Uh, one drop, not so good. One, one drop, oh, he does, not so good. So he does play Possessed oh. Villager, okay. Interesting. <laughs> I still don't think he plays Power <laughs> Yeah, no, we, well, we haven't seen, seen yeah. him drawn all... If he play, he probably doesn't run an Argent Commander then. Oh, no, yeah. No. Alright, good. The Tuskull is actually a pretty decent draw. Zelay so uh, picks it, gets a deep breath in. He's, oh, he's like, know. oh, thank god I didn't get high rolled. Would you have considered trading after you got the healing tome? Um, I was just going to die to Soulfire anyways. Mm. <laughs> And Zelay is now Whoa. officially ahead on board yeah. for the first time all game. Uh, where does the two one go? If you, if you hit into the one one, you protect the other two, the, the other one one, right? Given your yeah. your guy is a death rattle, so you're not actually oh, giving up like anything. Healing. Okay. The, the spell power doesn't actually do anything yeah. unless your your opponent just like sixes you. Yeah. For, just like, <laughs> yeah spell power throwing him up. And fifty fifty. Uh, oh. Never lucky. And none of these players are very lucky, actually. Oh, yeah, there's been a lot of like low rolls. Brand. Brand could be a blowout card. It does. Have we seen Councilman in this? We have not seen Councilman. We haven't seen there's Councilman. Haven't we? Oh, it makes sense because you have no ritual, right? Yeah, yeah. So there's no Councilman, no ritual. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Cool. You also have like the horse riders on three, so then you end up with just like yeah, way yeah. too many three drops. Yeah. I mean, as a, just thinking about the positioning. It's actually pretty awkward. Yeah, it's like the Dim Gang boss. Being like, you, the, yeah. Yeah, uh, you might have wanted to like put Dim Gang boss next to the wolf after like your guy traded. But I guess the wolf's dying anyway, so it actually yeah. doesn't matter yeah, at yeah. all. True, true. And Love there is <laughs> rolls the spell I mean, power. You, are you at a point where you think right? I'm not going to get how the board do you, back. All right, you can aid him, right? And then he's at A, and then you have to hit yeah, like how Lava you Burst, Lightning Bolt, Runner Runner. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, you're never going to get the board back, right? And Unless he plays the random early destruction. Okay, here we go. I think you tap. Do you? Nothing kills you from six. Well, spell damage love, second love burst. It's very unlikely to die for six. <laughs> but, like, you have, you have to clock your opponent, too, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh! <laughs> you don't. Surely. Surely not, though, right? You die from three a, so a lot of the time. so could kill you, yeah. Oh, man. I thought, I thought Zelay had it, and then... Ooh. Like, that sequence of draws, and Yaguch is going upstairs. Uh, I don't like this positioning. Yeah, interesting. He's not putting anything else on the, the left. One, uh, well, I'm assuming, like, I guess it just doesn't matter. Because Yagut's never killing the wolf. Yeah. If, he, if the wolf dies, your whole board dies. Yeah. yeah so. <laughs> oh, <laughs> lethal. <laughs> lethal pug chop. <laughs> I think you tap. Do you tap? Um, well, you, four. You're dead to lava burst. I mean, you're so far just, ahead just, on board. Just watch is, there, him is there really any need? Is it really going to increase, increase your clock that, that Just much? watch like. watch him tap and hit the Wrath Guard, though. <laughs> <laughs> like, something like... Yeah, I mean, Flame Imps and Wrath Guards are both kind of annoying at this this point. And they're not so good in this matchup. <laughs> mm -hmm. You still have that brand on the board, right? So you can hit, like... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah you can't even play one of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like you can you can hit like defender. Oh yeah, I forgot. I completely Defe forgot about the brand. Yeah, <laughs> he's just been chilling there. 
Good thing Zelay didn't forget. <laughs> yeah, I might have played one of those a while ago. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, it feels bad, man. Okay. So you trade the boss in? Yeah, okay. Here we go. Yeah, keep maximum power on the board. Yeah, no, I like the not going for the top. You're so far ahead on board. It's. I, you I actually don't also feel it's worth a risk at this stage. But okay, so you only have six, eight, ten, eleven. You don't even set up lethal as the issue. Do not, don't do it, Zelay. Don't do it. You have so much to live for. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, that's not lethal. Oh wow. That okay. does slow down Zelay considerably. Yeah. Wow. One one's also not bad. Oh, that's a horse good riders. Well, it's not flame up a raft guards. He's got fourteen. Oh, you have to trade, right? You have to kill everything. Yeah. yeah. So the brand can value trade the three two, right? Then the two one yeah, and I the, think two, the two one. The two two ones you can trade into the golem, and then maybe the gang boss into the one one. They actually, yeah, yeah, and then you just horse rider face. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Then you put the horse rider on the left of the. Oh, right. okay. Chooses to say goodbye to the. Um, yeah, interesting. Yeah. He just has a bit less pressure on board like this. I really don't like how he did this. Also, it's sort of like starting to suicide the brand, so you have like that option of maybe playing a flame imp one day. <laughs> <laughs> so five, six, eight, ten on board. Uh, you, you don't do anything now, right? You just, no, no, worst no. comes to worst, you do it. You tap next turn. You won't yeah, get yeah, two exactly, taps for exactly, it. Yeah, exactly. okay. And no, nope, another dead drawer. That isn't it. Uh, does you have any horse riders left? Because now, now the, the flame tongue draw. Oh, oh my! That's one, two, three, four, five, seven, nine, ten. That that's adds four. That's that's four. Yeah, yeah. That's wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, I forgot about the brand. Is it? Yeah, yeah. You put it on the left, and it's lethal. Wow! So Zelay what a wins back and forth game. Three games with I've, aggro. I've never seen that matchup go like so late. Yeah, I know. You, really... Usually, like it's over on one side around turn five, turn yeah, six, yeah. and this game went to like turn what, thirteen, fourteen? Yeah, that's insane. I mean, it was literally just life tap, just carried yeah. him through, pulled him through. Well, until it almost killed him, but. <laughs> 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 oh, oh. Well, well done, Slay. Does I haven't really been paying attention. Has he has he moved through this group or? Yeah. yeah. Zelay, did you move for your group? Yeah, yeah. Congratulations, Zelay. So Zelay is uh, wow, 0 3 crazy. against Zoo and 6 0 with Zoo. Yes. Except he won the Zoo Mirror, actually, so he's like. Zoo, Zoo, Zoo pulling you through. This has been a good winter in for Zelay. <laughs> Next time you could come up here, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do we have up next? Um, the next group is Group D. Alright, cool. so there's Bishop Great and Group D will be coming up. Are you in Group D? I'm um, in Group E. So close. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, guys. Thanks, Short guys. break and uh, Group D coming up.